Hi, it's Debbie, Hudson Valley Wine Goddess, and I'm here with Michael Migliori from Whitecliff Vineyards and Winery. And today he just got word that he has his 2009 Riesling has won a double gold and the best white at the San Francisco International Wine Competition. It's about the 2009 Riesling and uh, how it feels to have a double gold and best of on a in a huge um, wine competition. Today was a big day for Whitecliff. It started a couple hours ago with a call from Jim Treesize, who's head of the New York Wine and Grape Foundation. And he's a judge at the San Francisco International Wine Competition, the biggest wine competition in the United States. And he called to tell us that we had won a double gold medal for our Riesling. And not only that, but it was also awarded prize for the best white wine in the competition, which is huge for us. Um, we've entered quite a few competitions before, but nothing on this scale have we uh, won prizes for. The wine uh, is a very interesting wine in terms of Riesling. It comes from four different vineyards. Um, it was a big effort by my winemaking team, Paul uh, Giaquindo and Kate Taylor and myself um, because each of the wines that we made were lacking in structure and in finish uh, and we really just didn't know what to do with each of the individual wines but we decided we were going to blend them all together and lo and behold they each balanced uh, the other in terms of what was good and what was lacking we um, we're quite proud of the uh, two Hudson Valley vineyards that we use, the White Cliffs, and the other is uh, John Huddleston's vineyard, which sits above the Hudson River, uh, which I manage for him while he's away. Um, the Hudson Valley grapes came in at uh, good sugar levels and good fruit, uh, but were a little bit flat in the mid palate. so we uh, you know, we weren't overly happy with the final result. The next uh, vineyard came in from Long Island, and this was the earliest grape that we harvested, probably three weeks before anything else. Things ripened up pretty early out there. And uh, they had a lot of tropical fruit, but no acid structure at all, so a little bit flabby on the finish. And then our uh, Finger Lakes Riesling, uh, had wonderful fruit expression of uh, Riesling grape that you always get up there. And last year was a cool year, uh, so um, even with that, you know, the flavors came through. But it was very low in sugar and extremely high in acidity, so we were not happy with uh, that as a product. The overall blend, though, turned out just great. We were convinced we had a really good winner for wine, and so entered it into the San Francisco wine competition. A funny aside on that is we sent out the competition wines. FedEx dropped the case on us, broke all the, the bottles. We got a notification from them that they had done this. And so we had to um, resend the wine and we sent it uh, overnight express to the wine competition. So the, uh, the, the wines got there just in time. So. We almost didn't make it into the competition at all. But that said, uh, we're really happy with this one. It's uh, one of our best efforts at Whitecliff, and uh, our customers have been really liking it. They're going to like it even more now that it's got some big, big awards and medals. Good. So a little bit of a side about, all right, why is our Riesling so good this year? It wasn't a particularly great vintage year. It was... Uh, a lot of rain, uh, one of the shortest growing seasons just in terms of degree days. But uh, we brought in a new piece of equipment here at Whitecliff where there are only a few people in New York State that are using it. It's called a float clear system and it's a way for clarifying the wines before you start the fermentation. And before this you would rely on settling agents and uh, keeping in a tank for 24 hours. But this system uses an inert gas and floats the suspended particles up to the surface and you can clarify the wines with the, uh, the grape juice within an hour. Uh, some friends of mine in the Finger Lakes who have this piece of equipment, myself, we both agreed that the quality of the white wines that we made last year 
really improve with the use of uh, this technology. So again, uh, at Wycliffe we like to be on the cutting edge or bleeding edge of technology and in this case uh, our bet paid off that we would get better lines.